Hey guys, today we're taking a look at some pretty cool software called Unchecky, and what it claims to be able to do is actually uncheck the advertisements from freeware software installers, such as things from like CNET and even SourceForge have been adding these adware elements to their software installers. And Unchecky is supposed to automatically either uncheck them warn you about a potentially unwanted program and it's supposed to update automatically and as you can see in the change log here that's on their website uh, it's only been out since November of 2013 so you know it's only been a few months and they've added support for a lot of different software and software installers so today I'm gonna try to give a quick demonstration of the software and see how well it actually works and is this something that I would actually want to use on my main computer? Because I do download software sometimes. And I'm losing my mouse, what the hell? Okay, so we'll go ahead and just save this. We already have some adware ready to go. So we'll install this. Let's just make sure that this doesn't have any adware. Install. Oh, it needs to download something. Or maybe not. Maybe it's not signed or something correctly. Okay, so now Unchecky is running somewhere. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, so it's only using 984K here and 552K. So less than 2 megs of memory at any given time. So that's pretty nice. I'll just open up the shortcut here. We get a quick little... Uh, settings screen, status screen, and it apparently has some analytics of software that we've installed. So we should see that here towards the end of the video. Do have a few languages to choose from, and the about page, and it's that's nice. So the service is up and running. Let's try to install from CNET first. So we have the CNET installer enabled, and yeah, we want that. Now it will not actually, I don't think it's trying to uncheck anything because there's nothing to check. Let's just install anyway. Ah, Unchecky says that this is potentially unwanted software and we'll actually decline it. So we have to actually hit decline for that. We get a warning, we'll decline, and we should get a wise care 365 free without any extra crapware. So we'll install, and there's the wise cleaner installer. This probably comes with its own adware. It actually doesn't, I'm kind of impressed. Let's try uTorrent, which always comes with some kind of adware that should be automatically unchecked. Yes, 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 yes. No, I don't want this crappy free download. Oh, yeah, I want that offer. Ah, potentially unwanted program will decline. And, um, yes, well, it's already moved our uh, radio button to decline. Well, let's try to accept. It will not let us. We need to decline. We could proceed if we wanted to, but we're not going to. So now we have uTorrent without any crapware. Let's try install IQ. This is for the core temp software. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. No decline offer. Where's my mouse? decline. Uh, yes, we do want optimize your PC. Well, maybe we don't. Decline. Uh, okay. An uninstall helper has already been unchecked. We will decline that offer. And now it has some kind of, or the download manager has minimized. And it opened the core temp website. I assume the software is going to be installed pretty soon. So let's try whatever this is. I think this is also install IQ for 7-zip. 
Well, no, well, hmm, maybe not. Click next. Yeah, we want all that crap. We want everything. Hmm. Some other kind of download manager. And I'm not sure if it automatically unchecked or not. We'll see here momentarily if our homepage changes the conduit or something like that. Oh, shh. That's bad. Okay, so we've got Yahoo. Lovely Yahoo on our Internet Explorer. Let's try Media View something or other. See what it does. Oh, Windows Defender has already taken over, so not happening. How about some Brothersoft adware? That's usually good. So we're getting Google Earth. We're going to get all that crap. Okay, so we've got Google Earth and I assume other things with it, unfortunately. Let's try, while well, this is installing, whatever this is. Fun and moods. Uh, yeah, we want all that. It also installed the Google toolbar, I just saw. Uh, we'll cancel for now. It's nice. I don't know why our software isn't installing. Let's try Wi-Fi Way. See what it does. Yes, it has, ooh, it has unchecked uh, search protect or something, decline, click next, oh, it's been blocked, decline, now it is installing whatever software that we tried to install. How about this video to mp3 crap, what could it be? Uh, yes, we'll agree to whatever that is, it's trying to load something here. Optimizer Pro, accept. Ooh, decline, please. Okay. Please click finish. So now we have video to MP3 on here. And while this is going, let's just check IE. Okay, so... Overall, it blocked about half of the software installers. The Brothersoft one it did absolutely nothing with, and I figured that would be one of the ones it would definitely block. Uh, some of these other installers are kind of obscure for whatever, video mp3 or something, so I could understand why it didn't do that. Uh, the install IQ ones, I believed it worked pretty well. It seemed to block everything. And... The nicest thing about this software is the fact that it doesn't use very much memory. So you're not really going to think about it unless if you're actually installing software, which doesn't happen every single day for most people. So is Unchecky worth checking out? Probably not at this point. It simply doesn't work as well as it should, and most likely whatever software you install is going to install if you just spam the next button so I don't really think you would feel much safer running this although it is kind of cool and it's a really nice thing that should be added to like an antivirus program or an anti-malware program like think of Avast or Malwarebytes uh, specifically Avast they're already bloated with crap but if they added this on it would actually be useful to uncheck software installers so I think it's a pretty cool concept, but it's only been about four or five months since the software became public, so I assume that it's going to get much better over time, but right now I just don't think it's worth using. So thank you all very much for watching, and take care.